five and welcome back to another week of home learning. This week then is the 18th of May, uh, already part way through half of May. So this week's home learning generally continues from last week on the whole. The reading activity then is all around a poem called Sea Fever and that's available on the page four of the document, the reading booklet that you can download. And then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday are all activities linked to that poem. Reading around the poem, uh, looking at the vocabulary that's linked into it, getting creative and doing a poetry mood board and then the quiz at the end of the week. So that's our reading tasks. Um, our Times Rock Rockstars, hit the button, continuing with those. And the maths with the IC maths again. We've talked before about how if you want to give it a go at having a go at the BBC bite size videos for maths, then have a look at those uh, as well, or instead of the IC maths uh, as a different provision for you to have a look at. The spellings then for this week are all with the sound ear, spelt E R E. And then you've got your look at our check sheet, the uh, word search as normal, the handwriting, and then there's a code breaker, a, a jumbled puzzle for you to crack for your spellings as well. Your writing this week is linked to our Greek topic, and it's all about Troy, the Battle of Troy, the Trojan War. So you've got um, a BBC link then. If you click on the link, it will take you to this page, which is on the BBC, Ancient Greek, the Trojan War. And then there are different episodes here to find out about the story first. So that's our first thing to do, is look at the story. Let's go back to our timetable. On the Monday, watch episodes one, two, three, and four, and make notes on what happens in the Trojan War. Tuesday, you can go back to it and watch episodes, episodes five, six, and seven, and make notes again. There's also a horrible histories clip here uh, for you to have a look at to also find out more about it on there. And then Wednesday, we're going to ask you to imagine that you are going to have to motivate your, uh, your soldiers. You've got to do a battle speech. Motivate them, ready, churn them up, ready for war. Um, so that's your writing task week, is a battle speech. And then editing on Thursday, and Friday you can perform your speech to somebody, maybe somebody can record it and send it to us on our class emails, that would be good. Um, so let's have a look at what one could look like. This is a Troy battle speech. Spartans, my brothers of the sword, I'd rather fight beside your brave souls than any army of thousands. Let no man forget how menacing we are. We are lions. Do you know what's out there? Waiting beyond that beach. Freedom. Take it. It's yours. You are the greatest army that ever lived. You are ready for victory. The Trojans who have stolen our precious Helen deserve a nasty surprise they will never forget. I cannot lie to you when I say there are risks. Some of you will die, but it will not be in vain. You will have sacrificed yourself for this army and I will be eternally grateful. We Spartans, who are the most feared army in the world, will return victorious. You are brave, you are strong. You are dangerous. Let's destroy the weak Trojans and charge to victory. Okay, can you make your speech as persuasive and forceful as that particular one? That's our writing task for this week. In the afternoon then tasks, then we have got the grammar, which is all about expanded noun phrases, to, a quiz to complete. Greeks, we're now wrapping up, coming towards the end of our Greek topic. Are you able to make a mind map or a poster that tells us everything you've learned so far about the ancient Greeks? 
The art is a Zentangle challenge. Um, have a go at one of the many that are there for you to have a look at. So let's just have a quick look at that. So this is this document here, and you can find there are a variety of patterns drawings that you can have a go at. Again, we'd love to see pictures of those sent to our class emails. Show us what you've done. French revision for the planets. There's a YouTube clip to have a look at for you to go, and there's some planet sentences or planet dominoes for you to have a go at as a task. Science, we'd like you to have a go at regrowing some vegetables. Can you observe what happens once you've put in your part of your vegetable? Following the instructions on the sheet. So if you were having a go at using a carrot, you would place a top cut off end of a carrot into a shallow bowl of water. The green leaves will shoot from the top. Keep it inside and place it in a sunny spot. There are writing instructions here of how you can have a go at regrowing a vegetable. Have a go at those. Again, let us know how you get on. And then your other activity for the week's learning is going back to the NHS activity sheet we had this week, or last week as you're watching it, and having a look at another option. So we're having a look at then red for love, orange for energy, yellow happiness, green for safety, and blue for appreciation. Choose something different to what you've done this week for the five days of the week. Activities. Remember Purple Mash, lots of things in there. I'm seeing much more people, many more people, having a go at the Purple Mash, so well done. Uh, it's good to see the variety of names on there that are now having a go at using that. Uh, then your reading, a bit of information about the reading. Normal clips here are spelling words, sincere, interfere, sphere, adhere, severe, persevere, atmosphere, mere, hemisphere, and austere. Some information about your writing, help you doing your battle speech, is also on there. Okay, that is your writing and reading and foundation subject ideas, home learning for this week. Any questions, email your teachers, get them to find out uh, things that they, you need them to help you with, that is all good. Uh, showing your work to them on your emails, great. I uh, look forward to seeing all those things, particularly the artwork and information about the science. Does it really work? Can you get the carrot to start regrowing? And those battle speeches. We want to hear you from the rooftops of Bishop Stoke calling out your battle cries. Uh, do they really wind your soldiers up ready? Are they ready for that fierce battle they were heading into? Okay, enjoy having a go at writing those battle speeches. And if you can record them, send them to us on the emails. We'd love to have a look at them. Um, maybe even have got a, a hat on, dress up a little bit maybe to add to the character of it all. Okay, thank you very much, Year 5. We look forward to seeing how you do with this week's learning. Thank you.